What we're gonna do now is we're gonna enable the motor. John Monette is the founder of Sonic's Aircraft. He gets excited each time he demonstrates the capabilities of his new experimental YX aircraft. It'll tell you that the motor is off. It looks like a small plane, it feels like a small plane, but it doesn't sound like a small plane. Okay, we're gonna start it up. Start, BMF, run. It's on the sensor now. That's because this version of the YX is not powered by a combustion engine. It uses batteries. We wanted to stimulate the thought about electric airplanes. And this is really the culmination of that. It's ready to fly. It's a completely autonomous electric airplane now, meaning that it has its own electronics battery and motor. The battery-powered YX is the product of the Sonex eFlight initiative. The company launched the program in 2006 to promote the development of alternative energy sources for aircraft. We are faced today with, a, I believe, a watershed event. Craig Willen is a flight engineer. He has closely monitored the development of electric-powered aircraft. What is electric mobility going to give us? You know, not only on the ground, but in the air. It's, uh, the, the sky's the limit. You know, it's clean, renewable, highly efficient form of, of, uh, of uh, propulsion. Sikorsky engineer Jonathan Hartman agrees. But also, electric propulsion has a lot of benefits over internal combustion engines. It's quieter, it has less vibration, it's inherently less complex, which drives down cost, and it's easier to operate. Hartman is part of a team at Sikorsky Aircraft working on Project Firefly. It's a single rotor helicopter powered by batteries made by U.S. Hybrid. The uh, power source for the aircraft are the two battery packs you see on either side which are lithium ion batteries, similar to the kind you find in your laptops, only custom made for us for this application. Hartman says the wide swing in fuel prices made Sikorsky think about an alternative. Rotorcraft specifically play a critical role for both commercial and military applications, and that role could be threatened by shortages in fuel or spiraling fuel costs. But the very thing that drives electric powered aircraft is also the biggest hurdle. Batteries are bulky and heavy, and for machines that need to be light, the major innovation ahead is making those batteries lighter and smaller. Hartman thinks Sikorsky has found a solution. Although Project Firefly is still grounded, Hartman expects manned flight tests to begin soon. This can fly and will fly, and we're looking forward to doing so as soon as those ground tests end, which we anticipate for later this year. The Sonex and Sikorsky projects are two examples in a growing field of innovation in electric-powered flight, most in their infancy. Experts say bringing this technology to commercial air travel is a dream far in the future. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Oshkosh, Wisconsin.